This is like where I started playing, man. Like, all right, why do I cry? Why do I cry? I swear. It just means a lot to me, honestly. Like, and my family. I just want to make them proud and playing overseas is like a big step, so. Anyways, yeah, it's gonna be a crazy experience, but I'm here for it and ready to ride a roller coaster of emotions and living the dream. I'm Charlie Rule and I play football. Uh, Brighton, Brighton Hove Albion. Well, it officially like got announced. I signed like, yeah, probably two weeks ago or something. Hopefully I can get some minutes in, in that league, play against some idols and show the world what, I, what I've got. I'm gonna grow as a person as well. Obviously I'm moving away from my family. Yeah, I'll grow heaps and then hopefully I can get into the Matildas, maybe Paris 24 or the next World Cup. So this is the park I grew up at, um, playing here for Queen's Park. I used to play in a boys team, all boys. I was the only girl, which was pretty fun. I don't know, I loved the challenge. Um, I reckon I was better than all the boys, but there wasn't like many girls teams, I guess. It was kind of a lot of boys and I just went in and played because I wanted to play. And then eventually, like at 11 years old, I moved into my first girls team, which was Sydney Uni. From there, I went into New South Wales Institute, which was um, kind of a more professional environment where they really looked after us as girls and that's where I kind of grew and got selected in young Matildas teams and stuff and then at 17 I signed my first professional contract at Sydney FC. Then I've been there for three years and yeah won three premierships. We ran, won the grand final this year which was insane. That, that was special because we won the double as well so yeah we'd be working, been working to win that um, grand final for three years. It feels so good lifting a trophy like next to your favorite people in the world Honestly, it gives me goosebumps thinking about it. So I love it. I don't know There's just something about it that just like makes me feel so good and so free being on the field like playing with a Group of people that you know have your back and you have their back is something special and after the grand final My manager called me up said there's a bit of interest from Brighton and at start I was like I don't want to leave Sydney like this is such a special team and they mean so much to me and stuff but I had a good think about it and England's been a dream of mine. I think that country is just another level of football everyone's so invested in it and um, yeah the league is reaching new heights at the moment. Obviously I'm gonna miss my family and all my friends here but I think I said it's like feels so right and I'm so ready for this opportunity. I am relentless, I reckon, going forward. I do like attacking and I, I did get put into the right back position at Sydney. Um, I was normally a midfielder, so I do love going forward. I think last year I was new in the defence, so I think I got the most yellow cards in the whole league. That's, yeah, pretty bad, but yeah. I think that's just like stupidity. But I, I think I've grown a lot since then, like as a defender. Um, which is good, like I just got put in the right back and I've kind of just adapted to it and um, I've gotten a bit better at it. I do get like competitive and want to like, yeah, get in there and kind of smash them. When I got told I was going on as a right back, I was like, cool, I just want to play. That's, that's all, I just got in there and it's all football. I kind of fitted in well there and all my teammates were really supportive of me and my coach, he's made me a right back now, so. <laughs> Yeah, I love learning and I feel like I've grown a lot in the position since I started there, so. I just play, which is weird. I, I, I just like sledge them with my ability, you know? There's so many people that give hate and like, I think, I think it like just drives you to be a better player and beat them. You just wanna prove people wrong and like, yeah, make, make the people that support you proud and. I think that's, yeah, a lot, a big part of the game. I wouldn't say I have a nemesis. I think I just have like people like Ellie Carpenter, who I look up to so much, but she's in my position in the Matildas. So obviously I want to be better than her and yeah, take over her position. <laughs> Sorry.
<laughs> oh, I always wear the same undies, which is like pretty bad, but um, yeah, they say I love Bali on them. I got them in Bali. They're just really comfy, that's all. Some people like through the TikTok and stuff would see me as a crazy, like really. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> someone like really crazy out there, like funny, and I don't really see myself as that. I don't know. I'm pretty like mellow, chill, and I don't know. I never see, saw myself doing TikToks and stuff. It just happened out of the blue, but it's really fun, and I love doing it with my best friend. Obviously, I dream of being a role model and stuff, but yeah, seeing all like people message me and like comment and come up to us, it's pretty crazy. It's such a good way, like, to interact with people and yeah, hopefully inspire them because when I was young, there wasn't many women to look up to and yeah, if I can be an inspiration to young girls, um, that that's really exciting for me and being able to inspire the next generation to be better and yeah. Just like so many differences that we see as a team, com us compared to the men's team. Just like change room rise, like food, they get lunch and stuff, we don't get anything. Even like my captain Nat, she's having to train till eight o'clock and then go straight to work for the whole day. And um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of pressure on her. It's not always the pay, there's just other things that are so easily resolved and we just aren't getting, even though we're winning titles and they're not. So. Yeah, it's um, it's it's it was hard, but I think we all just like do it for the love of the game. New Balance, they're just supporting me off the field, on the field. I feel like I'm actually kind of taking off now and being able to like play with no other pressures and thoughts. I'm able to play without studying or out doing another job. I can do it full time, which is pretty incredible. I, I never thought I'd be able to do it. It feels like I'm an actual athlete. I feel like, um, yeah, stylish off the field as well. But I'm seeing a lot of promotion at the moment with the World Cup. It's, it kind of warms my heart seeing all this stuff around women's football. I think it's the, the third biggest sporting event in the world, it's just reached. So it shows that there, there is actual interest in it and I think we just need to, yeah, get out there a bit more, have a bit more promotion and give us a bit more support. It's been a challenge being a female footballer in Australia, but seeing the World Cup here um, this year has been amazing, just so much support and yeah, I think we've grown as a nation. The future's looking really good and yeah, I'm really excited to be a part of it. I fell in love with it and um, haven't really looked back. I feel like I've been pretty lucky, to be honest. Uh, I've grown up with like such a good family, supportive. Um, grown up here playing football with the boys. And as soon as I started playing in the backyard, I've always like dreamed of this. It's always been like something I, I wanted to do. And being here now, like it feels normal. Like it feels like I was made to do this. The, this is what I love doing and like no matter like all the ups and downs I think yeah it's all worth it in the end because yeah you win titles you get to be with your best friends and you get to train every day and stay fit it's it's an unbelievable job and I feel so lucky to yeah to do what I love it feels surreal being able to do this as my job.